Welcome to the new frontier of football, the Saudi Pro League, a league that's not just making waves but causing a tsunami in the football world. With Cristiano Ronaldo leading the charge, the Saudi Pro League is becoming a magnet for football superstars around the globe. With a staggering 30% of the league's players hailing from foreign lands, this number is set to skyrocket as Saudi Arabia continues to invest heavily in their dazzling football league. The Saudi Pro League is more than just a league, it's a revolution with state-of-the-art stadiums and fierce competition. It's a spectacle that's turning heads worldwide. So buckle up as we dive into the heart of this thrilling football revolution. Who's ready for Arabian Nights? Luka Modric recently turned down a monumental offer to the Middle East, but his teammate Karim Benzema decided otherwise. Perhaps the biggest name of this summer's window so far, the Real Madrid legend is set to bang the goals in for a few more years in Saudi, but he won't be the last to go either. Who else is looking forward to some Arabian Nights next season? Let's find out. So before we get into the potential newcomers, who are the Saudi Pro League originals? Those who made the move before it was cool. Those perhaps who made the league cool. Let's take a look. Cristiano Ronaldo is still one of the biggest names in world football and of course takes the crown as the biggest name in Saudi. One of the world's greatest ever goal scorers has seemingly blazed a trail for pros in their 30s to look east to the Saudi Pro League and not just west to the MLS in the USA. Ronaldo signed a two and a half year contract estimated to be worth more than $220 million a year with Al Nasser. Cristiano Ronaldo's bumper deal has put the Saudi league in the global limelight and the floodgates have opened. As CR7 continues to grab goals at international level for Portugal, he has made a superstar on the field in Saudi Arabia too, with 14 goals in 16 games. One of our favourite players from the Saudi Pro League is Talisca. The Brazilian is what you might call a journeyman, having spent stints across the planet playing football. Talisca left Bahia in his native Brazil at a young age and as many young South American stars do, made his way to Benfica in Portugal. He would spend time on loan in Turkey and China before permanently moving to Guangzhou for nearly $20 million in 2019. He scored 39 in 65 in China and moved to Saudi Arabia in 2021, before it was cool. Talisca is now one of the stars in the Al Nasser squad and has bagged 43 in 60 so far for the club. Not a bad man to partner CR7. Other fantastic footballers that have gone to Saudi include ex-Leeds and Valencia man Helder Costa, Europa League winner with Sevilla Gregor Krikosiak and ex-Arsenal shot stopper David Ospina. However, unfortunately for this lot, they're about to be overshadowed by the arrival of some big, big names. Confirmed nice and early this window, Karim Benzema is one of the latest top talents in the Saudi Pro League. Once a formidable strike partnership with Ronaldo at Real Madrid, the pair will now be rivals in their new country. Benzema's new club Al Ittihad won the Saudi Pro League this season under the management of ex-Tottenham Hotspur Wolves and Valencia manager Nuno Espirito Santo. They reportedly offered Benzema a deal worth over $100 million, one that the forward could not refuse. And let's be honest, Benzema isn't exactly a figure dwindling in form. Okay, this season he wasn't quite as influential as the one before, when he won everything. But he would have had no issues leading the line at Real Madrid for another season. The Saudi offer financially was tantalising, and that's why we might see some players leave Europe slightly earlier than they might usually do to wind down their career in another league. It will be fun to see the likes of Benzema and Ronaldo spearhead their own sides that will go head to head for trophies. I wonder who'll join them. Let's check the rumour mill. Bernardo Silva at last! Treble winning Man City legend Bernardo Silva is stuck in the headlines as the papers say he might be on his way to Saudi. Ilkay Gundogan has just left the club for Barcelona. Will Bernardo go too? Turning 29 in August, Bernardo is relatively young and a world class football player. If Saudi Arabia and the Pro League could tempt Bernardo to move, it would be a huge statement. There is no doubt City want Bernardo to stay, and he could play in any top team in Europe, perhaps even for another five years, so a move to the Gulf State would be yet another eye-opener for the world that the Saudis are here to play. 
Premier League and Champions League winner with Liverpool and recent Bundesliga champion Sadio Mane has already been heavily linked with a move to Saudi. After an infamous dressing room scrap with Leroy Sané this year, Mane might not feel too comfortable in Munich and perhaps he won't be going back to the Premier League with his tail between his legs either. Liverpool have likely moved on, but he's also been linked with Newcastle. Anyway, the sublime Senegalese forward could be yet another blockbuster name arriving in Asia this August. When will the global viewers really turn to the Saudi Pro League? When will these stars force you to turn over and watch on your TV? Mane recently bagged a brace against Brazil. There's no doubt he isn't ready for retirement yet. Other stars that have been tipped with a magic move to Saudi include Bobby Firmino, Wilfred Zaha and about half of the Chelsea squad. Yep, that's right, you've all heard the fishy rumours of favours being done by friends in high places as Chelsea seek to rid their squad of Deadwood. It seems that there may be a conflict of interest between Chelsea's ownership group and top Saudi Pro League clubs, to the extent that some large offers are being made to the Stamford Bridge Club for the likes of Hakim Ziyech, Edouard Mendy and more. Chelsea's star-studded squad needs to be broken up to keep within financial fair play limits and thankfully the top clubs in Saudi are seeking just that profile, superstar footballers. We won't get too deep into the politics and rumours of background games going on here, but it isn't exactly breaking news that Saudi Arabia might be up to some sports washing tactics with their recent investment in football. They of course are also paying Lionel Messi a fortune every year to be the face of tourism in the country and even tried to get him to join Ronaldo in the league, but of course he's gone stateside. We'll come to that in another video and if you want to read up on your sports washing in football then check out the stories in the link below. The future for Saudi Arabia is clearly very bright. Let's not forget their national team either. The Saudis' stunning victory over Argentina at the World Cup in Qatar sparked amazing scenes of celebration. It was marked by a national holiday and also shows that despite the big names coming in, Saudi has some fine footballers of its own. The investment in football is not just about attracting big names, it's about nurturing homegrown talent and inspiring the next generation of Saudi footballers. With an eye to hosting a future World Cup bid, Saudi Arabia wants to put on a show on their home turf if their bid gets accepted. But for now, the spotlight is on the big names, the star-studded teams and the quest for instant glory. With Ronaldo and Benzema leading the charge and a wave of new stars on the horizon, the Saudi Pro League is dancing to a tune that's resonating worldwide. Will it surpass the European leagues? Or will it follow the path of the MLS or China's Super League? Only time will tell. But one thing is certain, the Saudi Pro League is here to make a statement. So what do you think? Share your thoughts in the comments below.